The Dallas Stars are off the floor and on the board as they finally take one from the Golden Knights in yet another overtime thriller. In OT, the Stars had the momentum and were getting pucks on net. Hints with a great chance out front misses but grabs the rebound. He sends it back to Heiskanen who passes it to Father Time as Joe Pavelski cranks it in from Ovi's spot taking game four for the Stars. That's Dallas's first overtime win of the playoffs as they finally got that monkey off their back and Pavelski gets his first of the series against Vegas. The goal also put Pavs past Ovi for most goals in the playoffs by an active player with 73, which is also good enough to tie him at 13 with Dino Cicerelli. And believe it or not, the next person from to climb past would be Mario Lemieux, who has 76 of all time. Mind you, he played 80 less games. But for a fella who just scored four in a single game last series, anything is possible. Will the Stars be able to give him the chance, though? That's the question. Things got started off when all the bounces go to Vegas' way and William Carlson would knock one in. Then young Jay Jason Robertson brings it even on the power play when he bats a juggled puck out of the air and into the net 1-1 end of the first. Crazy hand-eye coordination and talent on this one. I love Jason Robertson. He bats it up out of the defender's reach then just smacks it in. In the second, the Golden Knights retook the lead when Marcia so hit in another beauty from Eichel, his third assist in as many games, but Robo brings it back once again as he takes a Lindell pass off the back wall, backhanding home his second to tie the game 2-2. And that is how you use a home bar into your advantage way better than throwing stuff on the ice both goalies played pretty rock solid tonight Aiden Hill with 39 saves Otter looking more like his playoff self with 37 in a typical bounce back we've seen that a million times with him after a bad game he always plays well and almost always wins Dallas looked alive in this one and they'll have to ride the Pavelski wave going into Vegas if they want to be the first team in history in history to come back being down three nothing in the conference finals also the first team to come back three nothing against the Golden Knights. Remember when that was a thing when the Golden Knights were new and everything they did was the first in Golden Knights history? But did Big D show you enough to give you hope in Game 5? Or are the Knights just going to lure them into the lion's den to slice and dice them? The boys wanted another night back home. Maybe that's the case. Let me know your thoughts down below.